Hey guys, as you can see from the thumbnail, this video is about a backpack. And let me tell you, the last thing in the world that I need is another backpack. I have dozens and dozens and dozens of backpacks. I have lightweight, real thin ones, you know, laptop ones, just regular style, whatever you want to call them. I've got these ones here that are fairly nice, fairly expensive ones. Getting bigger ones. This is just like a small sampling. I literally have so many more that I could have brought out. I've got some that are still brand new. Never even used them. This one's still brand new. But just tons of them. I even have like the backpack style uh, from my range bag. We have some that we use like dedicated for uh, vacationing. We have some that are for camping. We have, I have some that are for fishing. I have some that I use for like, uh, you know, weekend bags, uh, get home bags, you know, SHTF or bug out bags. We, I just have so many set up different ways. So of the 30 or so backpacks that I have, they pretty much all have the same problem. And I'm hoping that the one I'm going to show you guys today uh, can resolve that problem. So the backpack we're going to be taking a look at today is from Breakwater Supply. This is the Fogland 25 liter and the color is marsh green. I kind of want to show you how it was shipped to me. It basically came in this black bag with this inside of it. So let's get it out of here and we'll kind of go over all the features, dimensions, and then I will actually put this thing to use and test some things out on it. So it looks like they include a little tube of zipper glide. And let me say before we get this completely opened up that the camera and the lighting in here is making this almost look like a mint kind of color green. Uh, it's definitely a much darker green. Um, and I'll probably show you that to you guys outside so you can see what the difference is. So I haven't even completely unboxed it yet. And the first thing I notice is that this thing's pretty large. This is a 15 inch laptop backpack. Um, and this is significantly bigger than it just height wise width and depth and stuff looks about the same um, Again, this is a 25 liter. They do make a 20 liter as well If as I'm going through this you think oh this that's just way too big for me They do have a smaller one and it's like three inches or so shorter So let me start by telling you guys that the material used is a 420 D nylon super lightweight the whole backpack weighs right about two pounds uh, but it's a hundred percent waterproof. Uh, it is like abrasion and tear proof. Um, you, it's basically stain proof. You can wipe it clean. So this backpack should be able to withstand any elements, whether it's rain, snow, ice, uh, whatever it might be, this should be able to handle it. If you look around all of these seams, there aren't any stitches at all anywhere on the on the seams and instead they use this technology um, it's it's some type of radio frequency welding but it's supposed to make this again a hundred percent waterproof sandproof dirt proof nothing is supposed to get in through here at all I told you guys that it weighed right about two pounds it's also 20 inches in height it's 13 inches in width and seven inches in depth once it gets all the way opened up showing you some of the features here like so we have this bottom and top these are lashing tabs so basically you can put like a, a tripod or something that's long and through here and have it be secured on on both of those things and the name on there the little spot there their little uh, logo symbol up there and the name up there is all reflective we have our first pocket right here um, it's obviously waterproof. It's got these like little grab tabs come inside here. Uh, the zipper itself is completely airtight and it's a dry suit grade zipper. It's got a zipper pull or zipper tab on it here. And this pocket is actually very deep. It goes all the way to the bottom of this here. Yeah, below that right there's my finger. So very deep pocket on it. I don't know how well you'll be able to see down inside, but it's actually like a similar type material. It's not like soft or padded down in there. 
and then moving on up couple d rings here and then a front buckle strap that is adjustable on each side we have like these uh water bottle pockets it's like a mesh material and it does have some give to it so we'll try a couple different size bottles and see what will fit and what won't fit in that moving across the top and the back we have a handle here with a couple of attachment points there another handle here got these padded shoulder straps uh, if you look there is a design uh, there it's an s shape to them it's supposed to be more comfortable the panel right here is also padded and it's uh, ribbed through here to allow more like ventilation so your back doesn't get all sweaty and nasty a couple more d-rings on this side we have the chest strap and there is a built-in whistle on that for signaling and then we have the zipper to the main compartment and i do want to show you this here if i can get it up close for you so you have these zipper pull tabs on each side this is what I want to show you. See how there's like this little almost like square type thing right here. When you close this, this does have to go all the way down and then lock into that. That's what's going to make this waterproof. And we are going to test that out. So inside here again is more of the same material. There's not a ton of pockets. We do have one that's right down in here. Open that one up and show it to you guys. Let's see how deep that one is. So again, fairly deep. Uh, we have these two little mesh ones right here. And then this is a laptop storage area right here. And that will do, I think, up to a 16 inch laptop. Um, and then obviously you got the big open pocket here. So I spend a lot of time outdoors, whether it's camping, fishing, vacationing, whatever it might be. And you never want like your expensive stuff to get ruined that's not waterproof, such as a phone or like your key fob. Um, so like if I were to just take this and, and put it in like this backpack, you know, let's say that this pocket right here and I drop my keys down in there, this is not waterproof at all. So if this got a heavy rain, it would probably ruin that fob. So whenever we go on vacation or something like that, I often will take like Ziploc baggies and drop my keys down in that and then try to put that down into a bag, which it does help. Um, but if you ever put water or ice down in a Ziploc baggie, you know in just a little bit of time that the water starts dripping out of them. So this is not waterproof by any means. And like in my suitcase when we travel, I keep multiple sizes of Ziploc baggies in that and I bought some of these for when we travel for our phones. Um, they're supposed to be waterproof and like dustproof and sandproof. Uh, my wife has an iPhone 13 Pro Max. And I bought her one that's supposed to work for that phone. Uh, but she has one of the magnetic charging cases on. And her phone will not fit without her taking the case off. So that's kind of inconvenient every time she wants to put her phone in and out of one of these. Just take it off. And she and I have a trip coming up here soon. Uh, we're going to be in central Florida for a few days uh, and then taking a cruise to the Bahamas for a week or so. And if any of you have been in Florida, the weather there is so unpredictable. Uh, it can be nice, sunny, and literally one second later, it's raining so hard you can't see your hand in front of your face. And we'll often take a backpack like this when we're in the theme parks. But whatever's in it gets absolutely drenched uh, if it rains like it does in Florida. And so I thought it'd be nice to have a backpack that truly is 100% waterproof. And not only is it waterproof, it's actually submersible. Um, and that's something I want to test out for you guys and see if it truly is. But so anyways, a Breakwater Supply was nice enough to send this one over for me to kind of test out. All right, let's quickly check out the water bottle pockets, kind of see what will fit in there. Again, they're not the biggest pockets in the world. They're pretty deep, but and it's like a mesh, but it doesn't expand real far. So just a regular bottle. It's a 16.9 ounce bottle. So that goes in there, but I'll be honest, like that's that's a little bit tight. So I'm not sure if the 
bigger stuff is even going to fit here. Now there is one on the other side, so you can carry you know, two bottles. I have this like little metal. I think this is like maybe just over 20 ounces. Let's see if we can get that to fit. Again, I'm really kind of pulling on that mesh to try to slide it down in there. And uh, that did fit. I almost think that that's almost too big though. Uh, that's a struggle to get that thing in there and you can really see the material getting stretched out so i highly doubt that these ones are gonna fit because this is like a 33 ounce bottle again it's gonna be really super tight so yeah it will fit um like almost to the point where that won't even come out though like you really gotta pull to get that thing back out of there it will fit though um and then this is a like a 30 ounce yeti which it does have like that tapered design there uh, let's see if we can get that so that's probably too big i wouldn't i wouldn't go that size on it um you could definitely do a, a 20 ounce like straight wall one but I probably wouldn't do one like that. So to test the waterproofness, I'm gonna take a couple dollars and put in the front pocket here. And then I'm gonna take a light gray shirt. Um, and this particular shirt, if it gets wet, you will definitely see it. Um, and I'll put it in the main compartment here. The first test we'll do is just spraying it for five or 10 minutes uh, with a garden hose. And then the second test is we'll actually take it and dunk it somewhere. I might put a brick in here with it or something and allow the thing to like go under uh, for five or 10 minutes and we'll see if the stuff stays dry. All right, first test, we'll just start spraying this thing. And what I'll do here is I will change the angle so it's not, I'll turn the bag around facing the other direction. But again, we'll let this go for several minutes, see what happens. I'll probably do two or three minutes this direction, flip the bag around, and then do another couple minutes that other direction. All right, I've turned the bag around so the zippers are actually facing us here and we'll spray right at them. Obviously, if it withstands you know, the pressure from this, it's going to withstand some rain falling on it. I'm going to hit that front zipper too. But again, we'll go a couple minutes and I'll give you guys the results. All right, we sprayed that for I don't know, a good five minutes or so. Um, you can still see it's soaking wet here. I'm just gonna take some paper towels and kind of wipe off around the zipper area. That way, whenever I pull the stuff out, it doesn't get wet from uh, what's on the outside of the bag here. All right, as you can see, the, most of the bag is still dripping. I just cleaned that area right there and then the area around the top zipper. All right, let's first check the money. pocket feels completely dry and that is completely dry I had two dollars let's check the other dollar yeah that is 100% dry down in there I don't know how well the camera will pick up there but that for sure is 100% dry now let's check that shirt absolutely bone dry down in there i'll pull this shirt out to show you guys again if it were wet on this shirt it shows up like a really dark spot and so far it passed that test with flying colors so one quick observation that i had after doing that water hose test is that this back padding material and the shoulder strap material um, is some type of actual fabric and so like it is sopping wet right now. So if you are like, you know, 
using this during the rain, not all of it, like this stuff here is basically dry already. Um, yeah, and this stuff here just wipes right off, but this will stay wet for, for quite a long time. So I've got it hanging up drying right now before we do the next test. All right, guys, I'm gonna check the uh, submersibility of this backpack. We're just gonna give it a big toss out into the pond here. So it does have some air in it. Uh, so it's obviously like buoyant. Uh, so I think what we'll do is we'll leave it out there for just a bit. We'll pull it back in and then I'm gonna push the air out and maybe put some bricks in it. All right, I'm putting a couple of these bricks down in the bottom of the bag and we'll try it again. It's still got the t-shirt in it and it's still got the money down in it. I've also squeezed a lot of the air out of the bag. So maybe it won't be so buoyant. So even with those bricks in it um, and the air pushed out, it's still fairly buoyant. Um, so it does not want to sink all the way under. Yeah, I've thrown it in and out several times and it just does not want to go under here. And I do have quite a bit of weight in it. All right, it's been about 15 minutes of that thing kind of bobbing around out there in the pond. Let's pull this thing open and see what that t-shirts like in here and that is completely dry still and again i had multiple bricks done in this thing these things probably weigh i don't know three pounds or so each three or four pounds so at least six pounds completely dry let's check that money in the front front pocket here And yeah, it's still completely dry. I know that the bag is not necessarily camouflage, but that marsh green color does blend in pretty well. Basically, I just set it along like the creek line, tree line here. And if I zoom in, yeah, you can see it. But I'm only like 15, 20 feet away from it right now. And you almost could not see it if you didn't know it was there. So the backpack was clearly too buoyant in the pond. So I got it in the tub right now and probably 75% of the bag is actually underwater and it's still kind of buoyant, but I've been like holding it down. I'm going to go like all the way around and I'll, I'll basically keep it in here for, I don't know, 10 or 15 minutes trying to get the zippers underwater. I've still got the t-shirt in there. I still got the um, money down in the front pocket. So, I mean, this will be a good test to see if it actually is waterproof or not. All right, just pulled it out of the bathtub. I will honestly be shocked if it's still dry. As I was like holding it underwater and like forcing it down, I could almost hear like air kind of escaping out of the bag. So if this t-shirt is dry, I'll be really impressed. Wow, it really is. That is 100% dry. No kidding here. Not a single drop of water in there. And that was with me squeezing on that thing really hard, pushing the water in through the zippers. Let's check the money in the front here. It feels completely dry in there as well. Yeah, that money is completely dry. Uh, the bag is 100% waterproof. I want to give you guys an idea of what the backpack looks like actually on and using. Uh, just for reference, I'm about 6'2 and around 240 and it fits me fine. So hopefully, you know, seeing the backpack on me and then also seeing all those waterproof tests with the hose, with the pond, with the bathtub. Hopefully that was helpful for you if you're looking for something like this. You know, in my opinion, these backpacks are designed for people who spend a lot of time outdoors. Uh, again, whether that's hiking or camping or fishing, uh, traveling, uh, maybe kayaking, hunting, whatever it might be. But at the end of the day, it is a backpack. And anybody who uses a backpack could benefit from having something like this. You know, maybe you're a student that has a long walk between parking and, and classes um, or the campus is large and, and in between classes. 
Maybe you work in a city and from where you park to where your actual work is could be a, a long distance. Um, and I think this would even be good for public transportation. If you have to ride a subway or a city bus, there's a lot of theft on those places where people will basically open up your zippers while this is on your back and you don't know it. There's no way for somebody to open this up without them having to pull. And because these zippers are so tight, you would for sure feel that. So it's almost like an anti-theft backpack. And I really think these would be good for like a get home bag that you leave in your car. Um, you know, the purpose of those a lot of times is that you are walking to get back home um, or even a bug out bag. Like I mentioned earlier in the video, I'll really be putting this to the test in a few weeks when we go on vacation, uh, being out on the sand, uh, making sure the stuff doesn't get in there. But, you know, at the end of the day, again, it is a backpack. And I will say that the straps are actually very comfortable. The padding back here is very comfortable. I like how the bag is fairly rigid and it actually keeps like a flat spot up against your back. Um, a lot of like cheaper bags will like, they kind of crease and you have like some areas that hit your back and some areas that don't, but this is actually very comfortable. Now I haven't worn it for like, you know, hours at a time. Um, but the time that I have worn it, it's, it's actually pretty comfortable. Again, the bag is 25 liters. So you're gonna be able to fit a lot of stuff down in there. I do wish that it had more zippered pockets down in here though. It's got those two mesh pockets, but I almost wish that those were zippered as well. I like that the front pocket is also 100% waterproof. It's not just the main pocket. So you can put things that you need kind of quick access to, whether it be car keys, your phone, a wallet, money, whatever it might be. You can put that right here in the front and get to that, you know, kind of easily. I like that pretty much the entire bag can be wiped clean with just a wet rag. So besides wishing that there were more zippered pockets in the main compartment, a couple other things that I would like to see improved is making these water bottle pockets somehow get, have more give. Now, I understand once you put your bottle in, you want it to keep it where it doesn't like fall out or anything, but maybe have one of these larger versus the other. Um, and then maybe even like on this side, put like some type of like loop up here. So if you had a, a large bottle, you could strap it in that way it doesn't move or anything. Um, but as it is, they're both pockets are basically the same size and neither of them fit like larger bottles. And I guess my other kind of con, it, it, this really is a premium backpack. I mean, it is premium materials, the craftsmanship, the quality control. It really is a nice, backpack but premium comes with a premium price and these are coming in basically at 220 dollars there is a 10 percent off coupon so just under 200 dollars that's a lot of money for a backpack i do think this is something though that would last for years and years and years and just so you guys know breakwater does offer a two-year warranty on this bag. Um, I looked up some other premium line waterproof backpacks and stuff and two years is about the industry standard. So overall I do think this is a fantastic bag. It is 100% waterproof with all the testing that I did on it. Um, you know I would definitely recommend it. You have to decide if it's worth $200 or not. I know I am excited to, to try it here in a few weeks. And, uh, you know, if there's any major issues with it, I'll come back in and, and do an update video or something like that. But I don't anticipate there being anything. I don't think there's going to be anything worse than what I already put it through. So I will leave an Amazon link down in the video description. I'll also leave the link to Breakwater Supplies website. So if you guys want to find out more information on any of their bags or any other products they have, you can go there and find that out. But if you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And that's going to be it on this one. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it.